Hi, and uh, welcome to this course, Introduction to Microsoft Dynamics NAV on the Microsoft uh, Virtual Academy. My name is uh, Steven Renders. I'm a Microsoft uh, Certified uh, Trainer uh, for Dynamics NAV and for SQL Server. And I have over 15 years of uh, index industry experience uh, as a trainer, a consultant uh, and an author. In this uh, course, we will cover the following uh, topics. In the first module, Dynamics NAV as an ERP system, I'm going to explain you what's Dynamics NIV and what's actually involved in a typical ERP system. In module two, the user interface, I'm going to discuss and demonstrate how we can work as a user within the application. Module three is about user personalization, and it means actually that you can customize and personalize the look and feel of the application towards your own needs. Basic 4 is going to be about the basic functionalities in the application and how we can perform our daily tasks. The next module, number 5, will be about the master data for the sales and purchase processes, where we are going to discuss uh, customers, items and vendors. In module 6, I'm going to demonstrate uh, the process uh, for sales and for purchases in Dynamics NAV. And last but not least, in module 7, I'm going to give you an overview on the involved technology within Dynamics NAV. If you're interested to learn about the basic concepts of Microsoft Dynamics NAV, then this is the course for you. As a prerequisite, eh, it's actually suggested that you have some experience and basic knowledge about Microsoft Windows and its uh, functionality. And that's all that you need to be able uh, to complete uh, this course. This module will help you understand why Microsoft Dynamics NAV can be classified as an ERP system. I think it's important that everyone working in NAV in one or the other way should understand the basic concepts of ERP. This will allow you to better grasp the overview and insights of the application. I will explain the concept of ERP and Microsoft Dynamics NAV and then describe the most important features of ERP and Microsoft Dynamics NAV. Let's have a look at the overview of this module. So I will start by explaining what makes Microsoft Dynamics NAV a typical ERP system. And then I'm going to give you a brief introduction into the different areas that we can find in Microsoft Dynamics NAV. In this lesson, I will give you an overview of what an ERP system is. The main objective of ERP is to integrate all departments and functions across a company into a single system by using a common database. For most companies, it's very important that they have fast and correct access to the information. This is very important in making the appropriate business decisions. This information is stored in different databases when you do not use an ERP system. In that case, one might have island systems as shown in this uh, slide. Here, the information, for example, about warehousing, production, sales, and customer data is found in several databases across the enterprise. Because this information isn't shared, extracting relevant information becomes very difficult. If you can't get this information in time, you might be unable to close the sale. ERP systems don't have this limitation because all of the information is found in one common database. For example, even though a warehouse supervisor enters information into the system by using the warehousing module, that information is visible across the entire enterprise and available in all of the departments. Now, besides having all of the information available in one database, uh, there are three main characteristics that uh, an ERP system needs to comply to. First, real time. A typical issue is that information entered in a legacy system isn't always available in real time. In some cases, records can only be updated periodically, which means that you have to wait until the end of the week, for example, uh, to have an up-to-date situation. The advantage of an ERP system is that as soon as data is entered into the system, it becomes instantly available. Secondly, tied to the company's business process. An ERP system is more than only an accounting software. ERP systems support distribution, service, and manufacturing. ERP also allows companies to implement industry-specific solutions and then even tailor them more to specific company processes. And thirdly, job roles and authorization. And then there is security. 
ERP systems include security and authentication systems, which is necessary because an ERP database can contain a mass of information. That's why an advanced security system makes sure that data can be accessed by unauthorized personnel. In this lesson, I will give you a quick overview of the different application areas in Dynamics NAV. Microsoft Dynamics NAV is an ERP product that includes dedicated application features for all typical business activities. So let's have a look at uh, the application areas that we have available in Dynamics NAV. First, we have financial management. With Dynamics NAV, you can manage all common finance processes and information such as posting financial transactions, preparing financial statements, and managing bank accounts, inventory costs, manufacturing costs, and fixed assets. Marketing. The marketing features of Microsoft Dynamics NAV will help you manage and support your marketing and sales efforts. The application will provide you a precise and timely overview of your contact information, so you can serve your prospective customers more efficiently and increase customer satisfaction. Trades. Microsoft Dynamics NAV provides many functions to efficiently manage sales, purchase, and return activities by including topics such as price and discounts, item charges, order commitments, Microsoft Dynamics NAV provides all those tools ne necessary uh, to reach a high level of customer service. Inventory management. Inventory management is actually a cornerstone of any company within the distribution or manufacturing business. Microsoft Dynamics NAV supports companies in achieving their goals of having an accurate inventory and reliable availability figures across the complete application. Warehouse management. WMS systems contain a comprehensive set of features to administer workflow-based inbound, internal, and outbound warehouse activities in a complex warehouse environment. It can also include advanced warehouse functionality, such as calculated picks and moves, bin rankings, cross-dockings, and cycle counting. Manufacturing. The Microsoft Dynamics NAV supports world-class manufacturing principles with a solution that enables manufacturers to simplify their processes and implement the operational changes that are required to focus on delivering what the customers want when they want it. Jobs and resources. With the jobs feature, you can manage long-term projects that involve man hours, machine hours, inventory items, and other types of usage of resources that you want to keep track of. You can track machine and employee hours on the project by using timesheets, for example. Then service management. Microsoft Dynamics NAV provides functionality designed to support repair shop and field service operations and can be used in various scenarios such as complex customer service distribution systems, industrial service environments with bills of materials, high volume dispatching of service technicians with requirements for spare parts management. Then we have Human Resources. Human Resources is a fully integrated application in Dynamics NAV that enables users to register and update personal information about employees very effectively. In this module, we discovered what's an ERP system, and we saw the different functional areas of Dynamics NAV.